17. Here comes the glass. And Barsotti reads it nicely, dumping it off to Neal. 45. 50. Breaks a tackle. 45. Dances the near sideline. He went inside the 40. He stepped out back at the 44, but still you got to love the effort from Lorenzo Neal. Well, just, just a great job. It's a hot route by Mark. Seeing it. The sweet talk about being an educated quarterback. Knowing the defense there. Great hot throw. Lorenzo Neal is superb back. 225 pounds. Bolo running down the sideline. Makes that first tackler miss. Keeps his feet alive. Marty Thompson helping him out. It's a super effort. Great balance. Well, they needed 17, uh, and they got 18 yards. <laughs> 43-yard line, the line of scrimmage of New Mexico. Thompson, and this one's intercepted by Beckton. Linebacker Jesse Beckton. Now the first interception of a Barsotti pass this year. Not a bad pass by Mark, just off Marty Thompson's hands. And Beckton, who you see has a defensive back's number, but he's a middle linebacker. He runs 4.59. He shows his speed there. Well, there's two things that happen here. Mark tries to get squeeze the ball into Marty Thompson. Little tight throw. And watch the stiff arm here by Beckton at the end of the play. Not a, not a bad throw. A little bit, you know, just being aggressive. It, it, in a way, you know, what does the string really do? Now he can get on to throwing the football, not worrying about keeping it to 100 or 110 passes. Go on, get back in here and throw the football like he's done. Well, it was 93 in a row before Barsotti was intercepted. The pitch out, Marcellus Davis's first carry. It's kind of like Randy getting a new car, you know? You get that new car and you, and you just wait for the first ding in the door. And you, you know, you're always checking it. You're parking it down at Vons or wherever at your grocery store, and you park it clear away from everybody, trying to avoid that first thing. And now that's happened, so it can just continue to get dents and everything in it. You're becoming a pretty good storyteller up here. <laughs> nice run by Davis. First down for New Mexico. Jeremy Leach, two of seven, but 15 yards. Those are not Hall of Fame numbers for a guy that's thrown for better than 9,200 yards. Emory Braxton nearly with another interception. One of Manly Woods. Woods has had some huge games against Hawaii and UTEP over 130 and 140 yards respectively. But to this point, Leach has not been able to find number one. Manly Woods opened one time tonight. Leach couldn't get him the rest of the time. Emory Braxton has had him like a blanket. Well, the whole secondary runs 4-4. Or four, four, five. Great athletes. They can all run and jump. They might think that they sometimes have a height advantage, but Willie Robinson does a great job coaching that defensive secondary. I'm a very tenacious person, competitive. He's going to have his players ready. Second and ten for the run and shoot Lobo. Leach again throwing on that short dump off pass to Davis. He threw it behind Marcellus. This is a football team that averages 47 passes a game. In fact, in the Mike Shepard era, they averaged 42. They go to the run and shoot, and they add another five to that. Well, Mike Shepard has always had one of the top receivers in the nation, one of the top quarterbacks in the nation, and you throw the football. But the bottom line is, is winning football games. In my first two years that I played at Fresno State, we threw the football a lot. But we unfortunately, we didn't win, win a lot of football games. The last two, we were able to establish a run. And you have to run football to be able to win championships. It is third down and 10. New Mexico has not converted a third down to this point. 0 for 4. That one's too far downfield. Randy, getting back to that uh, point about New Mexico in the passing game, Mike Shepard said it just is almost impossible for him to recruit a quality tight end, but he said he can go out and recruit some of these wide receivers who are 5'7 and 5'8, have great quickness, but nobody else wants them. He said he's almost forced to go to this type of an offense. Went to Carl Winston there, his big play receiver, the top receiver in the whack, and he missed him. Shepard's numbers include three years, fairly successful at Cal State Long Beach. Malcolm Seabrook. He likes to run around. He's creative, but he's down at the 11-yard line. Once again, excellent defensive work from Joey Kowalczyk on the specialty punt team. 13-17 left first half. It remains dogs 17-0 over the Lobos. Country 107.5 playing today's greatest country song. 
far the most country. Country 107.5. Hottest artist, today's hottest country, country 107.5. The new 1992 Mercury Grand Marquis. More room than Oldsmobile 98 or Buick Park Avenue. More power than Olds and Buick from a new, more powerful V8 engine. And more value. Grand Marquis is priced $1,700 less than Olds 98. $2,100 less than Park Avenue. New Grand Marquis. Proof that more of a good thing is a very good thing. Home is a special place. A place to entertain. A place to relax. Nothing compares with the comforts of home, something never taken lightly at Kirkwood. 17-0 Fresno State. Trying to go 4-0 in 1991. Year in and year out, they seem to get out of the gate quickly. The last three years, Bulldogs have won their first three, but they want to go 4-0 and this year. Two wins against Pac-10 schools on the road and Corvallis against Oregon State. And dramatic win at Pullman, Washington, 34-30 over the Cougars. Cougars won today. They buried Oregon State. We'll have all the scores at halftime for you. First down and 10. Ball at the 11-yard line for the Bulldogs, leading 17-0. First back through Lorenzo Neal. There's a fumble. Looks like the Dogs got it back. And New Mexico had a few of their players there, too. We'll have to wait and see as they unpile them. Well, that's pullback counter, fake the toss sweep. Lorenzo Neal coming up the field, carrying that like a loaf of bread. Great hustle by the Bulldogs. I think Melvin Johnson ran downfield, followed that play, was able to wrestle that ball in there. Look at that. There you go, Melvin. <laughs> just that got extra that big, biscuit that's helped. Chance, that's his chance to start him right there. <laughs> he just got that big paw out there and said, no, you're not having that. It's my ball. And the Bulldogs got a first down. That's a pretty interesting play. Great effort by McCall. Linebacker Kim McCall to rip it free from Lorenzo Neal. Ron Rivers sweep right. Great cut. He's still on his feet. He's on his way. It's a foot race. 20, 10. Another touchdown for Rivers and the Dogs. What monstrous blocking at the point of attack. I saw three New Mexico guys just get blown off their feet. It, what a great effort. Great job, all 11 people on offense. Ronnie Rivers running downfield. People chasing him. It was like that dogs were chasing after him. He didn't want to look back. They know where they're right nipping at his ankles. I was curious if he had the speed to take it all away. 79 yards of bottled lightning. This is an impressive sophomore. Had to wait his turn last year. Pretty good cut there. Breaks a tackle. Well, they're all at his legs now. Look at him. He's just running. Doesn't know where they're at. Great kick there. Great balance. Just a great effort by Ron Rivers. What a big play. Twenty-four nothing, Fresno State. Ron Rivers, an electrifying 79-yard touchdown. And for New Mexico, it could be a long night in Fresno. Dogs leading by 24 nothing. When you're looking good, you want Bud Light. The clean, fresh taste won't fill you up and never let you down. You can taste it, you can feel it, you know you've got it right. Everything else, keep your fun life. Everything else, you got to shine on. Everything else, you got If you're someone who needs underground tank removal or any other type of environmental contracting, then you should be concerned with three things, the environmental impact, convenience, and price. At All America Trenching, we give our customers all three. We'll engineer your job, secure all the necessary permits, and take all the appropriate soil samples. We'll perform all the construction and cleanup work to your complete satisfaction. And because All America Trenching is a one-stop shop, we save you time and money. For a free consultation and estimate, call All America Trenching at 299-7229.
Well, Ron Rivers, 79 of the 89. By the way, 79-yard TD run for Rivers is the fifth longest run from scrimmage in Fresno State history. 33 seconds, 89 yards. Key play in that drive besides the Rivers run was Melvin Johnson getting that ball back on the first down fumble. Still 12.44 left in the half, and it's 24-0 Fresno State. Manly Woods. The only thing manly about that return was the coverage. There's nine Bulldogs, red jerseys on that football right there. These the kickoff teams fired up. Sal Mejico leading the trail. They're going after him. Looked to me like the dogs were offside, but no flag. They're all anxious to get down there. Homer. <laughs> all right now, and about five quarters in a couple minutes, Fresno State's home numbers are startling. 24 to the 55 is what, 79? And they allowed one touchdown to Northern Illinois. Pretty good math. 79 and 7, the numbers at home to this point. You sure you want to play the Bulldogs at Bulldog Stadium? Hard to recall the last time they were beaten here. Leach will throw on first down. Well, he likes the long ball. He'll air it out. He wanted Manly Woods, but our guy, Emery Braxton, has been blanking in the field. Well, they're just the defensive secondary for Fresno State's running man for man, toe for toe against it. See, Emery Braxton has great position on the ball. Not a bad throw by Leach. He's got to get it on his outside shoulder, though, to get that opportunity. See, it's a little bit inside. Emory Braxton almost had his second INT of the game. Braxton followed Manley Woods all the way back to the huddle just about before he got across the line of scrimmage and basically told Woods, you are not catching anything in my territory. Where do you tonight. think you're going? That's pretty cruel to send Woods long after returning the kickoff. Second down and 10. Short pass. Wanted Kaufman way too tall. Marquez Pope, number 30, in the area. And uh, you don't want to catch the ball. And look up and have number 30 coming at you. Well, mediocrity does not fit in with big-time college football. And Jeremy Leach, it, watching him play last week against New Mexico State, he played an excellent first quarter. People started dropping some balls on him. That was not good. Then he started throwing a few errant passes. You've got to be precision. If you're going to be a leader and, and continue to do it 100%, you've got to perform. Third down and 10, and New Mexico has not been able to convert on third down. Greg Oliver with the catch, and now they take it away from him. And it'll be a touchdown for Fresno State. <laughs> James Burton. Well, R-O-U-T-E, Ruder route. Jeremy Leach, good throw, bump and run, good patience, makes a great throw out to Oliver. Oliver tries to fight to make the first down. No Bulldogs down, and take it away. James Burton, a great athlete, easy to score. I, Randy, you, I think I'd have a hard time running the flag close to the sideline. Great Not effort by the out. transfer from the University of Hawaii. 4-4-6 four, four, in the 40, pretty good juggling act, and he was able to take it the distance. And Mahoney and the Bulldogs convert again. 31-0. Turnovers. Big plays. Great defense. It adds up to a rock in the first half. New Mexico, the Lobos, down 31-0. Go back to the drawing board. For football season tickets and seat options, call 278-DOGS. Thanks to online connecting point in Apple, the students at Fresno's Roosevelt School of the Arts are making beautiful music. This donation has meant that students have access to thousands of computer programs geared to music, and instead of a half an hour a week on the computer, they have five hours a week. Online Connecting Point, your authorized Apple Education sales consultant. We bring our experience to your students' experience. 
That's the right score. 31 0 Bulldogs. 12 18 remains. First half. Big plays. Defense has turned it over. Burton's interception for a touchdown actually stripped the ball away from Greg Oliver and Barsotti's thrown a couple TDs of Ron Rivers. A 79 yard run from scrimmage, the fifth longest in Bulldog history. And Mahoney kicks it through the end zone, and New Mexico will start from the 20, and you wonder how long Jeremy Leach will stay in the game. By that, and we might have an opportunity to see a couple of Bulldog quarterbacks, Trent Dill for the backup. Now it's a little early to make the change, and Mark Lepshire will at least finish the first half. Well, Leach is going to stay in for the time being. There's the beleaguered head coach, Mike Shepard. Not good numbers, but he still has two years left after the season on his contract, which has prolonged the contract last year. Three of 13, 24 yards for Leach. Not Hall of Fame statistics, not this night in Fresno. That'll get a flag over the back. Yep, Mark Wilson, the intended target. Brian Porter is the young man from Fresno State that came over the back. Easy thing to call, no doubt on that one. Porter was going for the ball, but he made contact before the ball got there. The only way they'd wave it off is they said the ball wasn't catchable, but I don't think they'll do that. Pass interference, defense, spot foul, and a first down. To the 31-yard line. Maybe that'll get, get the Lobos going. Well, they need something to get going. You know, Mike Shepard, we talked about his win-loss record. It's difficult. There he had a uh, guy dropping the ball, giving up a touchdown. I mean, he, that's not coaching. The player's got to be accountable to a certain extent of your win-loss record. Open is Wilson. Nice move upfield. Running past Burton and near the first down sticks. James Burton nearly had him in the open field, but Mark Wilson, a nice little move, clever move. These are small wide receivers for New Mexico. Of course, they had a great one a few years ago, and Terrence Mathis. Playing for the Jets. Yep, he's a great return artist for Does the a Jets. Great job. I think that's what Jeremy Leach is going to have to go. He's going to have to go shorter routes because the long ones are being taken away, particularly by Braxton, who's been defending Manly Wood all evening. Second and inches. Three down for New Mexico. Kaufman has a first down. Derek Kaufman, the leading ground gainer for the New Mexico Lobos out of Roswell, New Mexico. He's had two arthroscopic knee surgeries in the last year. They patched him back together. Well, that's a big series. They've had two put had one first down in the first quarter. They've been able to put two first downs back to back in one drive. Pretty good progress for the Lobos. 115 left first half, 31-0 Bulldog. When do they self-destruct? Completion for Jeremy Lee to get good secondary coverage from Tony Brown. Dave was just chatting to me, saying what I said. There's like a little over a minute left in the half. 11:06 left in the half. Got a lot of incomplete passes in this game so far. It stops that clock. Well, we were talking to Scott Johnson, the sports information director for the Dogs, and I said, what do you think, four hours tonight with the Dogs in New Mexico, especially with the Lobos putting it up probably 50, 55 times tonight if they have the ball that much. Well, they're behind now, and just about every down is going to be thrown. They've not been able to run the football. Nobody there. Just a case of the receiver running up the back of the defender, so no flag drawn. Good defensive play. That was Porter. Kind of a fake and go. And Porter was in within his rights. Receiver ran him down. But anything, it should have been offensive interference. Zach Ricks is fired up. He's in the defensive level. I think they're tackling and <laughs> holding him in there. You see him, boy, they're pulling him off now. Getting fired up. It's Bulldog defense. And I think everybody for the Bulldogs is having granted by the score 31 to nothing. It's executing the game plan. Not a lot of touchdown pass this season. A lot of people thought. That stat would go by the board with Leach throwing it tonight, but not to this point. Third and long. Nice throw, nice catch. Yeah, that's, that's Winston, an outstanding receiver, his 31st catch 
And that prolongs his streak. This is 18th start as a Lobo. Now he's got a pass in every game. Oh, this is pretty throw by Jeremy Leach. Three-step drop. Great spot throw. Right there, diving receiver. A lot of fun right there. Uh, Winston, senior class president of Locke High School in Los Angeles, a real leader on this club, comes up with a key catch for the Lobos, third first down of the drive. Right, you say Locke High School, that's your cue for baseball day. Hey, Eddie Murray, Ozzie Smith. Pretty good high school for baseball. Inside the counter to Oliver. Good burst to speed, good yardage to Aranda to Jeff Thiessen. Also Brian Porter for the Bulldogs, finally hauling down. Good little outside receiver carrying the ball, Greg Oliver. Actually a slot back when they wound it up that way. First time the low first time the Lobos have done anything offensively. First time the dogs obviously have let down a little bit defensively. Let's see if they can get fired back up and put a halt to this drive. Second down and three for New Mexico. Down 31 nothing. Deep pitch. Forget it. Fresno State, the Bulldogs reacting to the ball. And Marcellus Davis never had a chance. Oh, great play by Tony Brown. Stepping up, knocking that sweep. Eight-yard loss, seven-yard loss. Tony Brown's an outstanding football player going to play in the Senior Bowl. Guys, New Mexico's not going to win a lot of games without a running game. It's great to look good when you throw the football and put it up 50, 60 times. you got to be able to run the ball with some about consistency. Another third down situation for Leach. Tony Brown with a magnificent play. Tony Brown is an experienced football player. He beat him last time to pick up the first down to Carl Witts and made that diving catch that we saw there. He makes the break. Knew that, knew that he was going to run that slant. Steps in front of the throw. Talk about how the dogs had to step, and they did. First of all, Tony Brown tackles the uh, runner for an eight-yard loss and right over the top. Brilliant interception that time by Tony Brown. I mean, to do that without touching Winston and to get the care of him, that's just a great athletic play. And he's doing it against the best receiver in the whack in Winston. Tenacious. These guys, are, I mean, they're ready to play the week off. Able to get their bodies healthy. Dogs start from their 36-yard line. In the flat, Anthony Daigle. Nice catch. 40, 50, 45, 40. 37-yard line, Anthony Daigle, transfer El Camino College. Football team has a lot of weapons and a lot of guys sitting on the bench waiting and dying to get an opportunity to play. Been a long season in a short period of time for New Mexico. That's too many giveaways. Nice little disguise screen by the Bulldogs that time. A fake draw and a quick out. Two blockers in front of Anthony Daigle. And the dogs are marching again. Made a nifty little catch there. One-handed grab over his shoulder. So much was made of the red zone. That's from the 20 in. Fresno State coming in. That scored 16 of 17 times. Barsotti on the bootleg. It's open to the 30. 25. Steps to the sideline and runs out of bounds. Great effort again by Barsotti. Well, they had tried it before. They talked about the difficulty that Mark had trying to throw the football. I'm sure that when he went to the sideline, they said, hey, Mark, take it and tuck it. You can outrun the defensive end that comes up field. Barsotti had excellent athlete says the heck with it touch it and looking like uh ronnie rivers running the ball there dave yeah mark had a chance to cut it back inside but i think he made the smart play you tuck it back inside you run into some of that wave coming back at you you can a little better chance of getting hurt i think he made the right decision he got as much as he could and then got out of bounds 19 out of yard bounds. gallop to the 17. the reverse to means and he has blockers bye touchdown fresno state Dogs not holding anything back. They are a big play offensive team and a little trickery there and Calvin Means waltzes. Well, the Fresno State was getting a little lethargic at times against Oregon State and Washington State. Played conservative football. Coach Sweeney said, hey, let's lighten it up a little bit. Here you got a pitch reverse. Calvin Means, great speed, runs for the touchdown. One of the things that Mike Shepard might have made a little bit of a mistake at now quotation was uh, comparative football and I don't think Coach Swain the offensive staff and defensive staff for the Bulldogs liked it said that they had played in the Vegas top, Oregon State top well, they're not playing Fresno State top big block from Melvin Johnson on Trent Coit the reverse by means 
And right now, it's New Mexico that is going in reverse. 38-0 Bulldogs. I want you to call a good eater. I always have been. So when we decided to have a super value menu at 99 cents, I said, OK. But we're not going to cut back on the food. So Wendy's Big Baked Potato with sour cream is still big. And so are the Biggie fries, Biggie drinks, and our Frosties and salads. And Wendy's Junior Bacon Cheeseburger still has two strips of bacon. Look, I know you have less to spend these days, but that doesn't mean you have to eat less. Seven delicious items, 99 cents each. Wendy's Super Value Menu. You know when it's right. You know when you feel it, baby. You hold it. You hear it. You taste it. It's right. You got the right one, baby. Unsurpassably callable and intimately soulful. You got the right one, baby. With 100% new this week. Well, the Bulldogs are hitting the Lobos from every direction. And they lead by what seems to be an insurmountable advantage in the second quarter. 38-0. The defense has scored. Offense obviously has been in high gear. And Manley Woods will return. And Fresno State's been excellent on kickoff coverage. Now the Fresno State scoring drive, another nice one. Three plays, 64 yards. Kelvin Means on the reverse, 17 yards. So Means has caught a touchdown, and he's run one in. Derek Mahoney's doing a great job of kicking the ball off, getting good height, getting good depth, and deep in the end zone. Bulldog kickoff cover. Anytime you can stop somebody beyond the 20, doing a great job of covering. Well, Mike Shepard can look back to the early 70s. He played on a national championship football team at Cal Lutheran in the NAIA. But as a head football coach, he's young and he's still learning. And his New Mexico team has taken quite a beating to this point. Manley Woods. And he had a step on Emory Braxton, and Leach missed him. Well, Emory Braxton, my hat's off to him tonight. He's playing against a big-time wide receiver in Carl Winston. Here's a post-corner out that Kelvin Means scored his first touchdown on. Braxton does a great job on stuck on them like glue. So a shot of the coach there, Jim Sweeney. He probably still has a little bit of a memory. A couple of years ago, the dogs had a perfect season ruined by the Lobos. As New Mexico beat them 45-22, I believe, or 23. And that ruined the perfect season for the dogs. They finished 11-1. and one. Good bounce back and win the cow ball over Ball State. Another fumble. Fresno State Valentine has it. Well, Leach and Kaufman couldn't hook up, and that Valentine's a rover back replacing Steve Lee. He's going to be a great football player, but a junior. Well, his offense, you do chalkboard, you chalk the play up on, on the board, and it looks good. Here the defense comes in with a stunt. Works just like Cliff Heisel taught him on Monday how they want to run that. Wendell Valentine, big play for the Bulldogs. Well, it's been big play after big play, and this is getting very ugly for New Mexico. You know, for Fresno State, it's a lot of fun, but for the Lobos on the road, this is not a fun time. Tough, tough to recruit down at New Mexico. They have 35 players from the state of California, 33 on their roster from the state of New Mexico, but they don't get the blue-chip athletes down there. Five turnovers to this point against New Mexico, and we're still in the first half. And Barsotti loses the handle. I think Jason James, whoever the center was, forgot the snap count there. Well, that's two turnovers against Fresno State. Haney Sukari, the recovery, number 91. Well, that is, it was actually a change. Uh, Billy Scott was now in at, at center and might had a little bit of a change. Ray Charles, 50 years of music tomorrow night on Fox 26. 9.30 should be a good one. Only our station in stereo. KMPH, Fox 26, Ray Charles. This is a great one, a Hall of Famer. Kevin, what is it uh, when you change centers in the middle of a game? Sometimes you seem to have problems. Well, it really yeah. shouldn't be a problem because Billy Scott has come back from an injury and has been taking about 50-50 of the turns in, in practice. So sure, something happened there to make that errant snap or Mark pulled out of there. Something happened. Winston, a nice effort, but they rule him out of bounds. Carl <laughs> thought he had the catch. That's a bad call. I think Winston was dragging his feet. I think that should have been a good catch. 
Leach is only 5 for 20 and 44 yards. What's your thought here, Kevin? Well, you see the expert L.A. Ram, Preston Denard, in the official space. We'll see if he's correct. The ball's kind of hitting there. But the ball's out of bounds. No, and it hit the grab, too. That's a good call. Okay. Sorry, Dave. I'll back off. Preston Denard had jumped off his headphones and ran up into the officials. Mike Shepard was telling him to back off. You just want to see something good happen for him a little bit. <laughs> well, it's not going to happen running the football. Again, Valentine plugging up the hole, and there hasn't been very many holes. Kaufman carrying the ball. I thought, I thought we did good tonight, though. We only we went five whole plays before we said something about the officials when Barsotti didn't get the time for equipment repair when it should. Hey, we, we, made a, we made a five plays without saying anything. That's good. That's a great job by the officials in seeing that that ball hits. Leach is bruised and battered. He comes to the sideline calling a timeout. And the clock is running, which is uh, somewhat interesting here. Bummer. The uh, clock operator, Mr. Clock operator, still going. <laughs> Down to 7 27, 26. We're in the middle of the timeout. Now they finally stop it burning off an extra 15 or 20 seconds. Well, they know it's a long night for New Mexico. Well, you know you're up 38 nothing when they're giving you promos at every break, right? <laughs> Got to talk about Arsenio Hall, right? He's on tonight after the game. And what time does he normally come on? 11.30, 11 o'clock. 10 o'clock on KMPH. He might but be tonight? on a little late. Might be on a little later tonight. Well, he continues. Well, 1 a.m. Well, he's coming on immediately after the game, and if Arsenio, if he's watching tonight, he's going to talk about this game unquestionably. <laughs> Beverly Hills 90210 superstar Jason Priestley and Linda Hamilton get in the late night groove on the Arsenio Hall show tonight at 10 o'clock. Then at 11, laugh it up on Comic Strip Live. Where your station in stereo, KMPH Fox 26. All right, Kevin. Nicely done, son. You're doing play by play in the second half. I like that. They're always passing those promos by me. I'm like, hey, I can read. Nothing gets by you. <laughs> Third and eight. Dogs have uh, they've mixed the blitz package tonight. A couple of times they've uh, sent delays. Darren Boyer's been on the delay blitz a couple of times. They haven't sent a corner, and I haven't seen a safety yet go yet, but they've been outstanding in man coverage. Winston, Wilson, and Oliver all flanked to the right side for Leach. Pressure. Valentine sacks him inside the 10-yard line. Well, again, Leach is accustomed to getting hit. 130 sacks in his career coming in. And Wendell Valentine's going to be a tremendous football player this year and again next year for Fresno State. Well, I, I think it's time to make a change and not just for somebody's sake of safety. Jeremy Leach needs to get out there and beat up a little bit in this game. Time to make the change. Troy Rodson about five yards deep in his own end zone. Dogs had dime coverage that time. Six defensive backs in. Malcolm Seabrook looking for the wall. Cuts it back to the near side. <laughs> Malcolm's having fun. Well, he's getting a lot of time. You know, if it was a lapse time. If you say a guy runs a 4-4-40, He's at least out there. He should be gaining some yardage, but he's not. I want to see him move on the 41 freeway. Yeah. <laughs> you know Malcolm's ingenious when he came out of high school. He'd be dodging cars. He yeah. changes <laughs> lanes uh, in a hurry. Yeah, when Malcolm came out of high school, he wasn't real heavily recruited, so he made his own video to send out. He sent one to San Jose State and to Fresno State. Must have impressed the coaches being ingenious. Well, I'm glad he's here. He's fired up. Look at him. Snap the ball, snap the ball. He's out there by himself. Dog start from the Lobo 42-yard line. And Barsotti, again, wonderful protection. Seaburn's by himself. Touchdown, Fresno State. We talked about look long, look intermediate, look short, and look long again. And Barsotti had all day, and Seaburn broke loose. Well, that's an offensive lineman's touchdown right there. Mark Barsotti owes his offensive line a big thank you. Great adjustment by Malcolm Seaburn making that play. Actually, was running a post corner out. Mark saw he could get it upfield farther. Wonderful play by Malcolm. He wanted that thing. He was fired up. Great touchdown, Ariels, in the first half for Barsotti. And the beat goes on. Big play after big play. 44 nothing in the first half. Make it 45 nothing. You got a calculator? The numbers are building. The Bulldogs right now. 
have scored 100 points at Bulldog Stadium this year in less than six quarters and have allowed seven. Picard is forced into a dangerous encounter with the captain. You, you want to read these guys? Kevin, you're pulling us away. I want to talk about Star Trek. Uh, the alien ship on Star Trek, the next generation, that's tomorrow at 6. We're your station in stereo, KMPH, Fox 26. I love that Star Trek, the next generation. I like Cheers. KMPH has Cheers on at 7 o'clock, a doubleheader every night. Good to see Woody, the gang. Norm. Cliffy. <laughs> Gee, Mrs. I loved, uh... Gee, Mr. Gee, Mr. Clavin. <laughs> Dave LaPointe, former Major League pitcher, they asked him what his lifelong ambition was. He says to be able to sit next to Norm at Cheers. Yeah. But I think Mark Barsotti will get that record for wins as a starting quarterback. He's got a good chance unless he gets... <laughs> Something happens. But one of Kevin Sweeney's records about to go by the board tonight. 32 wins as the starting signal caller from 83 to 86 for the Bulldogs. And for Mark Barsotti, this will be his 33rd win guiding the dogs. Put it this Sad way. day in my life, Kurt. <laughs> Put it this way. The only way the dogs could lose this one is if they did something to forfeit the game. You got any ideas for Mike no, Shepard? No, no, About this time, if you're in New Mexico, you want to pack the bags and go home early. Trent Coit, safety who's been in and playing a lot tonight, Hammered out of bounds on the far sideline. Well, it takes a lot of pride as an offensive unit now to come on the field. That clock's not moving very quickly. You look up, you're down by 45. You know, you got to suck it up now and, and have some pride and determination on what you want to do. I'm sure Jeremy Leach wants to at least have something positive come out of this first half. Nice hit by Chris Tolbert on the return there. And boy, the cover teams of the dogs have excelled tonight. The dogs have excelled at every phase of the game. But the cover teams, I'm sure, given Jim Sweeney especially, a little bit of a boost to the special teams tonight. Still 6.41 left in the half again. The counter to Oliver. This locked down field for Manly Woods. And a nice effort by Oliver. That's been one of their more effective plays. And really the only thing that's moved them on the ground. Yeah, second time they've run it both times it's gained yardage you'll probably see that one a few more times tonight dogs are pursuing so well that new mexico is going to try to run against that pursuit now the bulldogs 45 points and a half is the most by a fresno state team ever it ties one other out when they had 45. second down and three oliver's open Best throw of the night by Jeremy Leach. Deep slant pattern, and Leach had that one right on the numbers. Jeremy did an excellent job stepping up into the pocket. One of the few times tonight that he's had a good soft place in the pocket. Here he takes a seven-step drop. Now watch him step up. That's a great job as a quarterback to be able to do. Super throw. Big play for the Lobos across that 50-yard line. Ducks had five DPs in that time. New Mexico has moved the football freely this year, but once they get deep in their opponent's territory, they come away empty a lot of the time. Just another throw, and again, Emery Braxton with excellent coverage on number one, Manly Woods. You just don't get the feel that Jeremy Leach is going to be consistent. He had that nice throw to Oliver, but he doesn't seem to be in sync. Well, the, the thing that's happening is that the receivers are getting rerouted. What New Mexico State did when they played defense is they played off. They played zone. They didn't get a good pass rush on Leach. He was able to complete passes, throw the ball in the lane. Bulldog defensive backs are up in their face. They're challenging the receivers. Leach is not having an opportunity to throw to open people. Leach again will throw the football. Breaks away. That's a nice catch to the 34-yard line. Great hustle. Carl Winston. Great hustle by Nick Surface. Jeremy Leach. Bulldog defense lost contain here. Leach runs outside, avoids Judd Full. Nick Surface shows great speed. Surface is going to be a great player for the Bulldogs. Nice athleticism by Leach, little sidearm. Yeah. Looks like Kent Pakalvi or Saberhagen. <laughs> Pretty good effort by Winston coming back to go after and help his beleaguered quarterback. Yeah, one of the things about having the small receivers like New Mexico does, they are quick, but you also can bump those guys off their routes a lot easier. Yeah. Third and five for Leach, and this has been a uh, down that they have not been able to convert on. Tremendous pressure. 
at the first down and a marvelous catch by Oliver. Great catch and a great throw. Jeremy Leach trying to keep things alive. They're struggling offensively. Pretty good pass rush here. Bulldog defense has got to get to him. See, Jeremy's got a lot of time. Pump squats. Just a great effort here. Super catch by Oliver. Looks a little like Marty Thompson's touchdown last week against Oregon State. Well, you saw Tony Brown go over the top and get one against Carl Winston. Oliver went over Brown to get that reception. Trips to the left side. First down at the dog 21. Mexico trying to get on the board down 45 nothing. Uh, oh. That one should have been intercepted. Wow. Leach threw that one up for grabs and Brian Porter had he brought it in had a lot of green pasture in front of him. Well, he might have tight and went 79 yards with the, the same that Ron Rivers did. New Mexico had a middle right. screen on and Jeremy Leach just overthrew everybody. Well, a lot of times, sometimes, a hot night like this, you get sweat running down that center hand. Ball gets wet, believe it or not, and it can slip out of your hands. It looked like Jeremy just kind of lost the handle on that one. Uh, he's from Southern California. He's used to the heat. Played the San Fernando Valley in Granada Hills. You don't have big hands, sometimes you lose control of the ball. Second down and 10. Kind of Incomplete, and again, an ugly throw. Well, Wanted to go to Kaufman. You know, you're not utilizing the, the ability of Jeremy Leach. I don't think that there aren't very many people who can run to their left, losing ground, and are able to throw a football when they're right-handed. It almost looks like he had a three-point jump shot to try to get that ball upfield. Speaking of jump shots, basketball season. Oops. 15, pretty good breakfast we want you to attend. Uh, I want to call the Fresno State Athletic Department and find out about that breakfast on October 15th and meet the dog basketball team. Gary Colson going to have a good club this year. Like that three-point shooting accuracy. They got a couple of guys, Will Hooker, Todd Bernard. Carl Ray Harris. I'm sure Carl Ray's been working on that jump shot. Oh, Leach. I know he's got that line. dunk down. I'm trying to figure out how your dad hasn't gotten Carl Ray to come off the football with that kind of athletic ability he has. <laughs> I don't know yeah. where he put him in the secondary. Join the gang for a double shot of laughs on the Cheers Happy Hour. Monday night at 7. It's taxing situation when Sam hires Norm to do his income taxes. Then at 7.30, Sam and Diane call timeout when the coach wears out his welcome on the second half of the Cheers Happy Hour. Our only on your station in stereo, KMTH, Fox 26. You're like taking uh, over the whole building, huh? I like it. Kevin Sweeney. It's getting aggressive. Mr. Promo. I was pumping up that Cheers program a while ago. I, I deserve that one. Well, all the Cheers tonight have been for the Bulldogs. 45-0. It's in the first half. And this has been an unbelievable game for the Dogs. And for New Mexico, whew, it's been a rough outing. Well, New Mexico got their first win under their belt against cross-state rival New Mexico State, so they were coming in here on a high note, but I think they're going to go limping out of town. Sore pause. Now, looking at the numbers, Leach, 8 of 26. Barcelona, 9 of 20, but the discrepancy, look at the touchdown difference. A couple mistakes by Leach, and he just has not been on target, and he has not been protected well. Third down and 10 from the Bulldog 21. Winston. Touchdown, Lobos. Dogs blitz. Lobos picked it up. Great throw, great catch. So New Mexico finally tends the scoreboard. Well, you never die by the blitz. And the Bulldog defense has had great success up until now in getting the leads and knocking the ball down with the receivers. Big play by Jeremy Leach. 21-yard touchdown pass. The first TD aerial against the Bulldog defense this season. Nearly 14 quarters. Dave Margolis, veteran place kicker. Sixth all-time in scoring in New Mexico. Has the Lobos at seven. But it's going to be a long climb back. Think he'd kick barefoot if he went to North Dakota State? No. 45-7. New Mexico on the board on the touchdown pass by Jeremy Leach. Let's take another look at that fine throw to Winston. Well, the Bulldog defense, Darren Boyer holding the center right there to try to get set Lance Thomas in for the blitz. Great throw by Jeremy Leach, big play. 
Lobos are on the scoreboard. Kind of feel good a little bit about it, I guess. It's Brad Sullivan with a key block. He was a tackle earlier in the season. They've moved him into guard, but he was able to knock Lance Thomas off, and that allowed Leach to get the ball off. That really was a nice throw off his back foot. Leach, the New Mexico all-time passing total offense leader at New Mexico. And threw for 622 yards in one game in Utah in 89. He really had a banner year in 89, setting 20 school records, and that was a glimpse of 89, a little bit of a flashback. But there hasn't been much there for Jeremy Leach tonight. Hugo Ojeda will kick off. How about an onside kick? Man, I don't think they'll try it. There's nothing to lose at this point. Down 45-7. Directed at Kelvin Means, returning from the floor. Oh. Whoa. Tried to bust the wedge and got busted <laughs> sometimes, himself. Sometimes it's called busted. We were talking about James Blakeney running down and knocking the Lobo wedge down. Well, the Lobos are finally on the board in Fresno. Eight plays, 79 yards. They did it quickly. Leach to Winston, covering 21 yards. Barry Jackson for the Lobos tried busting the Bulldog wedge. And surprised he got up. Now Barsotti remains in. Daigle's the tailback. Mark's going to throw on first down. Great execution. Mark Barsotti came to the line. He says, hey, look, they got me. Flaggy. Yeah, there it is. That's just frustration. Yeah. Great job by Mark. Came up the line. He got to, earlier in the first quarter. He got hit on that corner cat. Dead ball. Personal foul on the defense. 15 yards, automatic first down. Mike Shepard just took Eric Jack out of the game. He was very upset with his defensive back, the safety, for just coming in on the late hit on Means. Educated football team, Mark Barsodi, a senior player here. We'll see the late hit. Calvin clearly out of bounds. Jack with the frustration. One and four, soon to be one and five. Yeah. But it was a hot route is what I was trying to live through with all the penalties and everything we've been showing is that Mark came up the line, pointed to Calvin and said, hey, look, this guy might be coming. Check it out. First and 10 at the 43. Good play action by Barsotti. And a dart to Michael Ross. Another first down to the 30-yard line. Michael Ross made two real big plays two weeks ago at Oregon State. One on third and six where he bobbled the ball on a slant route, kept it. Made move the chains. Here he is again, settling in the zone. Mark makes an excellent throw. Throws a little BB. Michael Ross, excellent adjustment. Good to see Michael in there. He's the guy that took that stiff arm in the face from Jesse Beckton earlier. I mean, <laughs> Michael was going to be back in the way go. Jiggle in motion. Barsotti not shy. Goes to Marty Thompson. That's a great move to the 16-yard line. A 14-yard pickup and another Bulldog first down. One of the things you always tell a tight end when he, he makes that little hook catch right over the ball, he's get that six yards, catch the ball, tuck it away and turn it up. Here, Marty Thompson, perfect timing by Mark. Watch him turn it right upfield, mixes, misses the linebackers. Great effort by Marty, great throw by Mark. Marty Thompson came to Fresno State as a punter and has spent so much time in the weight room, he's developed into a excellent tight end. He's a great athlete. You ought to see him throw a ball. He can stand at the goal line down here at the southern end and throw it over the scoreboard. They had a 66-yard completion last year. One of the uh, Bulldog trick plays. Barsotti open in the flat. Lorenzo Neal. He's to the four-yard line. He's got a great side lift. That, that kind of sticks that hip out and lets him go by and steps on by for the first down. Barsotti building on the numbers. He's much more efficient, really has settled into the game. Seeing the defense real well, letting everything work for him, hitting people when they're open. 19 to five on the first down. Sometimes like a pitcher in baseball, you start out a little wild, takes a while to get settled in. That's what happened tonight. Uh, Michael Ross was out there by himself. I don't think that defense was lined quite correctly. Well, the Bulldogs, if they get any kind of score here, will set a all-time record and a half. Now, New Mexico realized they were in the wrong defense, and, well, they call and say the Bulldogs called timeout. 
Remember, 45 points ties ties the all-time record in a half and with the ball at the four-yard line barring a mistake Fresno State's going to have their best output in a half ever at a one hour and 45 minute first half and it's not over yet it's going to be a hero all the night folks what time's Arsenio going to come on <laughs> Arsenio maybe about midnight they might preempt him and throw him in it's <laughs> Hey, we may be part of the Sunday programming. It's a long football game. You know, it's not the kind of game I expected, not after last year's contest when it was 24-17. I expected Fresno State to win, but not like this, not this easily, and not with this many big plays. Experienced football team with a lot of horses. Well, they're about ready for the Big West. Huh? We, they just, we, uh, took care of business in the non-conference schedule. We've, uh, we've talked all along about Bulldogs' schedule, and they've gone up in hostile environment against Washington State and Oregon State came out victorious on Astor turf which there is not a natural turf that they're used to playing on came away with two tight victories in the fourth quarter they're feeling good about themselves and boy are they running on cylinders well Barsotti threw three touchdowns against Northern Illinois two against Washington State two against Oregon State he threw three here in the first half he's completed his last six. First down from the four yard line and Marco run it He's close. Give him a touchdown on the ground, Mark Barsotti. And Fresno State has 51 first-half points. Well, I know the coach isn't going to be too thrilled with me for saying this, but the dogs definitely have a chance to go undefeated this year. I'm sure he doesn't want to hear that kind of talk on the sidelines or because he'll talk to his club about staying focused one at a time, but they have a chance to go undefeated this year. I guarantee you right now, here's Mark Barsotti on the option. Just a great effort. Mark likes running that ball a little bit. Jim Swain's on that sideline still preaching the fact that it's a four-quarter game. He wants perfection. He wants performance. People are going to get an opportunity to play. He's going to let them perform. 52-7 to seven in the first half. Well, Barsotti's thrown for three, runs for one. Kelvin Means caught a touchdown. And another touchdown on a reverse. Ron Rivers, an electrifying 79-yard run from scrimmage marty thompson caught a touchdown Did you get anybody how about the defense burton has an interception for a touchdown well, that was kind of a fumble so steal for a touchdown now you're gonna you're gonna cut the hairs with i'm gonna come into you a little bit and they dropped the one touchdown all right let's pick on him now huh? okay they gave up a touchdown too leaks to winston be efficient 429 left in this epic first half well, at halftime, you can study the depth chart of the Bulldogs because we're going to see some players if this continues in the second half. <laughs> Four and a half minutes left. Clock's not moving real fast. Dogs keep scoring pretty quickly in a minute and a half or so. And uh, the Lobos keep throwing the football, and it's either incomplete or moving the chains. Fans are starting to leave. That's unbelievable. It's not even halftime. <laughs> It has to be 500 to 1,000 fans going back trying to get tickets for Long Beach State next week. The Bulldogs are hosting a big West opener. They feel this one's in the bag, and undoubtedly it is. Joey Kowalczyk with the kickoff return. Youngblood with the stop. People that run the concession stands aren't going to like this. People going home. You can't fault them. The Bulldogs have been absolutely awesome at home in two games. Game and a half, to be exact. 28-yard line, and for New Mexico, and for Jeremy Leach, you just got to feel badly. Not the kind of game they want. And for Kaufman, that's quite a belt he took from Darren Boyer. Big hit by Darren Boyer. Great catch, great throw. Darren Boyer staying home, playing defense, doing what he's told. Linebackers lay awake nights thinking about a chance to drill somebody like this. Good concentration by Kaufman to catch the football, but Boyer just puts the helmet right in the middle of his chest. Whack. Don't look that one in with President State watches film together. Big hits like that on defense. The team always is yelling and screaming. For his effort, Kaufman only gained two yards. Second and eight. Blitz. And Pete Jenkins was coming. And that's just unfair for a running back to look up and see a sea of red. you got to feel badly for Derek Kaufman. He looks up and he sees 6'5", Pete Jenkins. Where was the trap block? 
I mean, three dogs were there. They had that draw play smelled out. Well, they're going to go after him again, I assume, here on defense. Jeremy Leach got third down 13. Think he's strong? Dogs have six DBs in. See if Leach can come up with an answer. He made the one big play to Carl Winston. Tony Brown on the deflection interception. Three and a half, six turnovers against New Mexico. Tony Brown's playing like an All-American. Well, Tony Brown's a great player. You got to give defensive secondary there. He got a little tip ball. I think James Burton knocked that ball and kept it alive. Kind of a tight throw there. Third and 13 is not a good situation to be in as a quarterback. Tony taking the offering. Well, it looks like Tony Brown and Zach Ricks are in the uh, forefront of our defensive player of the game tonight, but we'll Dean make Burton that decision is a later. Ball there. Emory Emory player Braxton. of the game, offensively and defensively. Emory Braxton is completely blanked with Manley Woods. Marty well. Thompson's wide open. Barsotti over the middle for Arnold. Jeff Arnold, who's been a very good freshman, redshirt freshman, in that tight end spot, made some big catches in the recent road trips at Oregon State and Washington State. And what about Barsotti throwing on first down. Well, 52-7. It's getting in the rhythm of it. I guess it's the same as running. I mean, you can't take a knee. You're running your offense, and that's the play that was called. I don't know if he's primary, the primary receiver. Arnold caught a big ball in that final drive against Washington State, a 30-yard completion and that 84-yard drive to beat the Cougars. Barsotti's stepping up nicely. He'll run, and he's dragged down from behind. Mark Barsotti just took it upfield quickly. Barry Jackson ran him down from behind, or that would have been a substantial gain. It'll be third down for Fresno State. And still about six. High watermark this year in college football, at least Division I, 86 points by the California Bears. I think it was against the Pacific. 86-25 yep. or 28. Well, Penn State had a pretty good number against Cincinnati, over 80. 81 to nothing pretty good number third down and six Barsotti wide open Arnold inside the 15 yard line that's just bad defense back too deep can't can't play as a safety on third down and six yards Eric Jack's probably 36 yards 35 yards downfield giving up too too much cushion Lobos just don't have the athletes to play man-to-man -man like Fresno State does, so when you go zone and start dropping off that far, your tight end's going to be open most of the time. Under two minutes left first half, Bulldogs driving, leading 52-7. Naked bootleg for Barsotti. <laughs> Touchdown! A la John Elway on Monday Night Football. Well, can he win the Heisman tonight? Not realistically, but for Mark Barsotti, Tremendous beginning to the 91 season. Fireworks in the sky and fireworks on the field. The other question, Randy, is do they have an ample supply of fireworks if they're going to keep getting this thing in the second half? Well, well you really kind of want the dogs to just ground the ball in the second half. You don't want to... Well, what do you do? You take I, a there's knee? There's nothing you can do. 58-7. Now 59-7. We've run out of commercials in this half, right? We're going to stay here and chat about this one. And about about uh, seven timeouts ago. But just really, in some respects, you don't ever want to see a team humble. And New Mexico is getting battered in the first half. Well, it's a pretty tough situation to be in as a quarterback coming in here playing against the Dogs. Of course, the other side of the coin, New Mexico is prolonging this thing by putting it up on almost every play. A lot of incompletions. That's going to keep the clock from running. So Lobos could do their part if they don't want to see the score get too much worse and start running the football a little bit to keep the clock going. Yeah, Marcus Goodlow is now at number 16 for the Lobos. Going to start warming up. I assume that he's coming in now. Going to try to run the two-minute offense. Well, not a happy evening for Mike Shepard. He's had a tough go at New Mexico. That program, they're in their 100th year of New Mexico football, but when they went to the WAC, they may have stepped out of their league a little bit. Well, they have to make a decision what they have to do with football. They're going to make a conscious effort if they're going to try to compete in the WAC. I know it's great for them to beat New Mexico State every year and win their 
rivalry game in the state itself. But if they're going to compete in the whack against the likes of BYU, and Wyoming, Fresno State, Colorado State, and Hawaii, they got to bring in some better athletes. 59-7, minute 49 left, first half. And Mahoney kicking off again. Mahoney's legs getting tired. This is Manly Woods. Nowhere to go. Well, home cooking's been good for Fresno State. They haven't lost since late in the 87 season. Bulldogs are 23-0-1 since that time. 39-1-2 since the start of 85. So New Mexico coming in had a tough, tough time at best, and this has not gone the way they wanted. Four plays, 42 yards, another short period of time. And another touchdown run for Barsotti, two and a half. To give you Barsotti's numbers at the moment, he is 